Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to learn about the selection of BJT. How will you select the NPN transistor for your particular application? Let us say you want to drive a drive a LED with 20 milliamps current. In order to drive a, drive a LED by using NPN transistor, how will you select the NPN transistor? What all parameters you will look into it? Okay. So, so guys, after watching this video, you will be able to understand different parameters to be used in L in BJT selection or NPN transistor selection. Okay. And and you will be also able to select the NPN transistor for your LED driving circuit or any application you have. Okay, so for this particular video, let us consider your application current is 20 milliampere and you want to select a NPN transistor. What all parameters you will look into it in order to meet your design requirement. Okay, what deratings you look, what all parameters you look, right? So let us understand first the different parameters to be used in order to select one NPN transistor or one BJT, okay. So, so let us say for this application, I have chosen BC five four six five four seven like this this data set of NPN silicon transistor. So let us discuss one by one the first parameter. What parameter you need to understand, okay? So you need to look this VCO. Okay, so this is very important parameter. This is the collector to emitter voltage when base is open. This O stands for when base is open. So let us say you want to drive your LED with 5 volt. Okay, 5 volt. Your driving, driving voltage of LED is let us say 5 volt. So you will look at this parameter. What is your collector to emitter, emitter voltage? and when base is open so you guys guys you must remember when the base is open what is the collector to emitter voltage and you can see this vco for this vc546 is 65 volt you can see here so you are safe enough then other other parameter you need to look into it veb that means emitter to base voltage when collector is open. This parameter you also look into it. You can see here this VEB when when collector is open. Okay, emitter to base voltage when collector is open. Other parameter you need to look into it is VCB that collector to base voltage when emitter is open. So three parameters here you need to look into it. VCEO and VEB and VCB. Then other parameter is which is very important is collector to emitter saturation voltage VCE sat. At what voltage your collector when your transistor gets saturated what is the collector to emitter voltage. This is another parameter which decide the power dissipation of your BJT. The other parameter is VBE sat. What is the base to emitter voltage when your BJT is saturated. So this is other parameter. Then then this is HFE. You might have heard that this, this terminology. This is the DC current gain. Okay. This is very important parameter since your BJT is current control device. So HFE is one more important parameter you need to look and other things is DC collector current IC. So let us say you are driving your LED with 20, uh, uh, 20 milliamps current and for this transistor your IC is I see this here somewhere 100 milliampere. So you also need to look into it. And this power dissipation, you have to calculate the power dissipation. PD equals to like VCE into IC. So you need to consider this. And this is the power dissipation. And other thing is gain bandwidth product. Let us say you want to drive your transistor as an amplifier. You are driving your transistor with the some frequency. This GBW is very important parameter. This is called gain bandwidth product, which is 
which requires in order if you are driving your transistor as an amplifier even if you are driving your transistor with some frequency this gbw is very important so this this are the major parameters which you need to look before selecting your bzt before selecting your npn transistor so first look at your what is your design requirement based on the design requirement let us look these all parameters if these parameters are good enough to meet your design requirement and one more thing i would like to add here is in order in order to uh, let us say your ic in the design spec is 20 milliampere for led you should select ic at least three to five times of your design requirement in this case let us say 100 milliampere so quickly we can uh, look these parameters vceo vc is at vb hfe veb ic pd vcb so guys now you see the data sheet of npn transistor are the same and I, i'm not going much in detail about the absolute maximum rating you can see here they have given the absolute maximum rating for this bc 546r547 so you know you can see this bzt is three terminal device okay collector base and emitter one two and three and you see the different packages which are available for bzt this is also important in the case of power dissipation let me quickly go on electrical characteristic of bc547 so you see here these characteristics are defined in the 25 degree centigrade so here you need to understand guys these are the this this whatever parameters you are looking here you are you can see here this defined at 25 degree centigrade and if you design your circuit at 85 or 105 degree centigrade temperature you need to understand the derating of these parameters so i already said hfe this is dc current gain and they have given from 110 to 100 and vc is at you can see maximum 250 vb is at you can see 600 right and vb on you can see 700 maximum and minimum is minimum is 580 and you can also see this gain bandwidth product ft what i said there this is 300 megahertz this is very important guys and for the switching you need to understand the output capacitance and input capacitance you can see here they have given the hfe dc current gain in that is 100 to 220 for different different version of vc547 like that now once you look the electrical characteristic for derating purpose you need to look this graph that we see collector to emitter voltage and collector to emitter current with different value of iv here this plot is very important based on your application you can look into it and there is other things bve versus collector current that's mean base to emitter voltage versus collector current this you can also see this is very important voltage collector current and vc is at collector current and hfe current gain this this all graph you should look based on your application like uh, output capacitance versus like cob here you can see collector current versus collector gain bandwidth product this are uh, all things you can look and before i close this video you have to understand the derating because since this transistor is a very high gain it derates it derates with reference with respect to the temperature so if you are dealing with the high temperature design make sure you should look the derating parameter of bc 546 okay so hope guys after watching this video you are able to understand different parameters of npn transistor and you should able to select the npn transistor based on your design requirement so thanks for watching this video if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comments